welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sandra, and today I am road tripping to Holland, Michigan. It's about a three hour drive, so we're gonna be on the road for a little bit, and I just wanted to make this video because I put on a pair of compression socks before I left today, and even though it's about a three hour road trip, I just wanted to go over the reasons why I like to wear compression socks on a road trip, whether it's a short road trip or a long road trip, and some reasons why you may want to consider wearing compression socks yourself if you're on the road a lot, if you're a truck driver, if your job involves driving, anything of that sort, you may be interested in what I have to say in this video. There are some benefits that people may not think about and we often associate wearing compression socks while traveling because they can help prevent blood clots. And I think that's the most widely known reason why people wear compression socks while traveling. So the longer your trip, yes, the risk of a blood clot definitely goes up. The longer your trip, the higher that risk is. But if you're just on a two to three hour road trip, your risk of developing a blood clot isn't that high. So here's some reasons why you may want to consider wearing compression socks while you're driving. So first of all, when you're driving, you're sitting in a relatively stationary position. Your foot has to be on the pedal. You have to sit upright. There's just really not a whole lot of room to stretch or move around or get your blood flowing. And when you're not moving, your muscles are not contracting. So when you're up moving around, your muscles are always contracting, even if they're small contractions, whether that's to get up, get down, walk to another room, any sort of movement is requiring your muscles to contract. Now, when you're sitting in a car driving, there is very limited room to move around, and that is preventing your muscles from contracting. So when you're sitting in this upright position and your legs are hanging in a dependent position, blood can pool in your legs and that blood is working against gravity to return back up to your heart. Now when you are up moving around, the contractions of your muscles help to bring that blood back up to your heart. But when you're sitting in a car driving, your muscles are not contracting. And so that blood will start to pool in your legs because it's trying to work so much harder against gravity without any help from the muscles to bring that blood up to the heart. And often people who are sitting for long periods of time, whether you're driving all day or you're sitting at a desk job, they can get aching and swelling in their legs because that blood is pooling and it's stretching on the blood vessels and it's causing this aching and often swelling. Now I'm sure anyone who's on the road a lot has heard that they should stop and take breaks, they should do little exercises to contract their calves and their muscles and their legs. But in reality, you're paying attention to the road I always forget to keep doing those exercises. I'll do two repetitions and then I'll forget to continue. So the amount of exercise you can actually do while you're driving is pretty limited. And yes, I think most people will take a break or two if they're on a long road trip, but usually you just wanna to get to where you're heading to and get this trip over with. I know I do. I am not a big fan of sitting still. And so for me, I try to limit my breaks to just get to my destination. So this is where compression socks can really come into play and help relieve that swelling and aching in the legs when you're sitting in this dependent position for long periods of time. Now I have a whole other video that explains exactly how compression socks work and how they can benefit you and I'll link that below. But basically the veins in the legs have these little valves that push the blood back up to the heart and when the blood is pooling they get stretched open and that causes the aching and the swelling. So the compression socks help to keep those valves closed and helps the body return blood back to the heart into circulation. And so often when people travel they're just so tired, so achy when they get to their destination and they just want to rest and put their feet up after all that travel when you've been basically sitting and doing nothing all that time anyway. But a lot of it is because your blood has not been circulating as it normally would and that blood has been pooling in your legs causing the aching and the swelling. So compression socks can really help eliminate that aching, that heaviness in the legs after a trip when you're driving. And that's the reason I wear them. When I get to my destination, I wanna hit the ground running. I wanna start sightseeing and doing all the fun things on my list. And so I wanna feel good and feel energetic. The last thing I wanna feel is achiness and heaviness in my legs. That's just going to feel uncomfortable for the rest of the day and slow me down. And so if you're someone who spends a lot of time on the road, whether you're a truck driver or an Uber driver, or you just spend a lot of time in the car commuting to work, if you live in somewhere like LA or Chicago, 
the rush hour traffic can keep you on the road for at least two hours some days. So a lot of people spend a lot of time in their car and it's just such a confined space that it's really limiting your body's ability to pump blood efficiently. And so this is why I like to wear compression socks, even on a shorter trip, such as today, which is just about three hours. I grew up in Canada, just across the border from Detroit, but I've never been to Holland, Michigan. So this will all be completely new to me. I've done a lot of research on a lot of the cool things to see. Right now is considered tulip time there, so there should be tulips everywhere. They have a big festival starting next week. So I'm really excited to see that because I love flowers. I love springtime. So that's the main attraction for me. And then I'm hoping for a good sunset on Lake Michigan. That'll be really cool to see. I really haven't explored the west side of Michigan that much. So I'm really hoping to see a lot of things that I haven't seen before. And just take in the beauty of pure Michigan. So I'll include some footage of Holland, Michigan as well at the end of this video so you guys can see it as well. All right, you guys, so I hope this video was interesting for you. I hope it was helpful in understanding how compression socks can help you while you're driving. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I love hearing from you guys. I love getting your questions. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I love having you guys here. I love the family we're building here. And so go ahead and hit subscribe if you want to be a part of that. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next